reading keys and selecting. Hi, welcome to another lesson. Remember that these lessons are intended for persons who are blind and visually impaired, so please feel free to share them with those persons who might need it. You can visit the blindaccessibilitytips.com website for this lesson and other lessons, and you can go through them as you wish. Also note that the site has downloadables of tutorials in text and audio that you can purchase for your convenience. All right. So when we're in Microsoft Word and we type and we create, you know, long documents of text, we will need our screen reader to read it back to us because, you know, we're not seeing. And that does not only apply to Microsoft Word because we could be on the Internet where there is text or in another program when there where there is text. We will need the screen reader to read back the text to us because we are not seeing it. That is what we're going to be looking at today, right? Now, our screen readers can read text to us on different levels, meaning as small as character by character, as well as right up to reading an entire document all at once for us, right? Also, we want to note that the keys or the keystrokes that we're going to be focusing on today are not necessarily tied to our screen readers. They're actually Windows based, uh, Windows based keystrokes. So that means that even if a screen reader is not running, these keystrokes will actually operate to move the cursor around in the same fashion that we're about to discuss, right? All right, so let's think about this. Characters make up words. A group of characters make up a word, right? And in Microsoft Word, a group of words eventually will fill up one line and then of course you'll move on to another line so a group of words continue to fill lines and lines and so on right so characters make up words words make up lines and a group of lines together make up a paragraph doesn't it keep that logic characters make up words words make up lines and lines make up paragraphs. If you remember that, the keystrokes will make sense to you. All right, so we have some text here. First, we are going to look at how to read character by character. Now, when we write in English, we usually write from left to right. So if you're writing the word blind, you would begin with the B, then you put the L beside it to the right and you continue to type or write letters going to the right. So it makes sense that using the right arrow will take you through a word character by character. So I'm going to use, I'm in front of the word reading and I'm going to use my right arrow and see what I hear. Cap E. It says cap E, capital E, right? Cap A, Cap D, Cap I, Cap N, Cap G. Yes, so it went through the word character by character going to the right. And obviously, the reverse is the same. If you use the left arrow, it will take you through character by character in the opposite direction. So I'm going to use my left arrow. Cap N, Cap I, Cap D, Cap A, Cap E, Cap R. And I am back in front of my R. All right, good. Now, that's character, reading by character. Now, characters make up words. We're going to just add the control key to those two left or right arrow to read word by word. I like to say that the control key is like a super key. Yeah, so instead of just using the arrow keys by themselves where they go through on a smaller level, character by character, the control adds a little bit more power and now you begin to jump word by word so we're already in front of reading I am now going to hold on my control and press the right arrow with it so I'm pressing the keystroke control right arrow keys and it goes in front of the word keys and it reads the word keys going again control right and, and selecting selecting yeah okay and Again, the reverse is the same. So, control left arrow, 
will help you to read word by word in the opposite direction. So I'm going to use control left. And he's reading, reading. Right, reading, because that's the last word, so it goes nowhere else. All right, good. Characters make up words and words make up lines. Now, we know that when we type or write, when we fill up, we continue to type words, they fill up a line. So when line one is finished, we would have to go below line one to line two, and you fill that line up again, and you go below again to fill up line three. So it makes sense then that using the up and down arrow would allow you to read line by line, right? I'm gonna press my down arrow by itself. Blank. It says blank. Reading keys. Reading keys, that's in one, that's that's all of what is in one line. Going down again. In order to read text appearing on the computer screen, a blind or visually impaired person has to. So that is all of what is in one line. Let me go down one more time. Employ the use of some keystrokes. Although these keystrokes are being bundled with the Microsoft. Right, so that's that's reading line by line. Just up or down. So well, that's the down arrow. Let's try the up arrow. Let me use up. In order to read text appearing on the computer screen, a blind or visually impaired person has to. Yes, the up arrow takes you in the opposite direction, also reading line by line. Okay? So now, lines make up paragraphs. A group of lines together will form a paragraph. Now, it's important to know that in Microsoft Word, even if you've only typed one line, as long as you press the enter key, that is considered to be a paragraph. All right? So, yes, we read line by line with our up and down arrows. Now we're going to add the super key. Again, the control key to those same up or down because lines make up paragraphs. We're going to just add the control to set that same up or down to read paragraph by paragraph. Now I'm at the top of the document. So I'm going to try firstly control down arrow. Blank. It says blank. There's nothing there in that line. Going again. Control down. Reading keys. Reading keys. The enter key was pressed after that. So it considers that as an entire paragraph. But let's control down our once more. In order to read text appearing on the computer screen, a blind or visually impaired person has to employ the use of some keystrokes. Although these keystrokes are being bundled with the Microsoft Word lessons, their use is not limited to this program. All right, so that is a very long paragraph. I had to cut it, but you get the point. Control down arrow will allow you to read an entire paragraph. And as usual, the control up arrow will do the same, but in the opposite direction. So you will keep going up, reading paragraph by paragraph. Okay? Okay, so let's do one final keystroke. Now, let me just hasten to say that there are other keystrokes. That we can use but the ones that we're doing in this lesson are the main ones and the ones that you can really use and be efficient at whatever you're doing right now we've looked at left and right arrow allowing us to read character by character control left and right arrow allowing us to read word by word up and down arrow allowing us to read line by line control up and down arrow allows us to read paragraph by paragraph right and we noted the similarities with those keystrokes the last keystroke however is slightly different from those and it is the keystroke that will allow you to read the entire document it doesn't matter if it's a one page document or 50 pages this keystroke will allow your screen reader to read and read and read from wherever the cursor currently is to the end of the document so it's quite a handy keystroke it is insert down arrow or on some, if you're running the laptop layout of NVDA, then you would need insert A. Since I'm running the laptop layout, I'm going to use insert A and let's, let's, let's listen to what happens. Reading keys and selecting reading keys in order to read text appearing on the computer screen. A blind or visually impaired person has to employ the use of some keystrokes. Although these keystrokes are being bundled with the Microsoft so there you go you realize it's reading everything from the top going straight down to wherever i just stopped it i stopped it by the way with my control key that will stop this speech all right 
So it's the only keystroke that is a little different. Insert down arrow if you're on the desktop layout or insert A if you're running the laptop layout of NVDA. That would allow you to read the entire document. All right, let's now look at selecting. You're gonna to need to learn how to select text in Microsoft Word because that's the way you tell Microsoft Word what part of your text you want a particular action to be done to. So if you want one word to be uh, bolded or put in larger text, then you'd have to select that word and then perform the action. But Microsoft Word would not know where you want a particular action to be performed on unless you select the text. All right, so selecting is closely tied with your reading keys. As it relates to the first set of reading keys, left or right arrow, character by character, control left or right arrow, word by word, up or down arrow, line by line, control up or down arrow for paragraph by paragraph. Those keystrokes, all you would need to add to those keystrokes is the shift key and it will also select. So let's run an example. Let me see if I'm at the top of, put them top of my Reading document. And now, yes, I know that I can uh, read a text character by character with my right arrow going through forward. I'm gonna now use shift right arrow and see what happens. R selected. It says R selected. So now instead of just saying, or reading the R, it actually selects the R. And I'm gonna hold down shift and continue to select the entire word reading. Holding down shift and pressing down arrow. D selected. A selected. D selected. I selected. N selected. G selected. Right. So I've just selected the entire word reading, but I did it character by character. Now I could have done it word by word. Let me go back in front of reading. Let me see. Cat R. Good. It's in front of reading. Now, to read word by word is control, right arrow going forward. So it means that if I use control, shift, right arrow, it should select word by word. So let's go. Control shift, right arrow. Reading selected. Reading selected. Let me try. Let me continue. Continue with control shift, right. Keys selected. Keys. And selected. Mm -hmm. Selecting selected. Right. So now those, all those words have been selected. And by the way, once you move any arrow key. Reading keys and selecting. I just touched my up arrow. The selection disappears. Right? All right, so let's keep going. I'm going to go back in front of reading. Cat R. All right, good. Now, up and down arrow allows us to read line by line, right? It means that if I am to use, for instance, shift down arrow, it should select line by line. So I'm gonna use shift and down. Reading keys and selecting selected. Reading keys and selecting has been selected. So all of those words in one line there, has been selected. The entire line in one go was selected. All right, let's go try back in front. Cap R. Back in front of reading. Now, control down arrow or up arrow allows us to read paragraph by paragraph. So let's now see if control shift down arrow will allow us to select text paragraph by paragraph. Let's see, control shift and down. Reading keys and selecting selected. That paragraph, which is a one liner, is selected. Carriage return selected. Uh, that's a blank line that's also been selected. Reading keys selected. Reading keys, another one liner paragraph. And let me see this big paragraph now, still holding down my control shift and pressing down. 795 characters selected. I did notice it just told me the number of characters for the next paragraph that has been selected because so many words, it didn't bother to read the entire thing and say selected. It just said how many characters and tells you that it was selected. Easy. Cap R, reading key. All right, 
Now, continuing, just like when we were reading and we found that to read the entire document, the keystroke is slightly different from the others, it's the same thing with selecting. To select an entire document, the keystroke is Control A. So it's a little different from the others, which use the Shift key. When it comes to selecting the entire document, it's a simple keystroke, Control A. Let me try that, holding on my control and pressing A. 3,907 characters selected. And again, a lot of text, so I didn't bother to read the entire thing just to tell you selected. It just tells you how many characters it has, it has selected and then tells you that, look, those characters have been selected. That's the end of the lesson for today. All right, thanks for listening. Please remember that you can go to blindaccessibilitytips.com to read this lesson along with other lessons as you wish. Read and learn and please feel free to share these videos and the website to other persons who are blind and visually impaired and use screen readers if you think they could use it. Also leave a like on the video if you think it has helped you. Thanks for listening.